Welcome to Biology Access. In today's class, I'll be taking past question in biostatistics, actually 2021, 2022 past question. Just taking one question before we move into other areas in biostatistics. Question is on the board. Actually, it's talking about the height of the set of animal in the laboratory and the values are given on the board. I'll be using two different methods to solve it. One involving frequency, the other not involving frequency. Now, I can decide to solve it using a formula that involves the frequency. In this case, I'll just pick one. We have 1.3 is there, 1.4 is there, 1.5. Those are calling two times. I'll pick one is there, 1.6 is there, and 1.7 there. So I'll now draw the line, then I'll now put frequency. How many times is 1.3 occurring? Is once 1.4 is two times, uh, sorry, is also one. 1.5 is occurring two times. 1.6 is occurring three times. And 1.7 is occurring five times. For that, after that, I'll now look for the f of x. That means I have to, f and x, I have to use the frequency to multiply the value of x. This time this, you have this. This time this, you have this. Multiply, you have this. Use to multiply this, you have this. This time this, and you have this. Once you get this, you can get the summation of this, and you can get the summation of this. As usual, you can now calculate your mean using the formula mean is equal to summation f of x all over summation what f. Sum this and all over the sum of this. Do that to get your mean. Media value, you can just get it through this place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The 6 and 7 value is actually the media value. So since we have two numbers, you add, divide by 2, you still have your value. Why the mode is the most frequently occurring number, you already know that it's 1.7. can also get the media value here, knowing that the 6 and 7 number, this plus this is 2, plus this is 4, 4 plus this is 7. That means the 6 and 7 number is inside here. Now, once you get your mean value, you can always get your x minus mean. That means using your x value here, you subtract your mean from your x value here. Mean is 1.58. So, 1.3 minus 1.58, you get this. 1.4 minus 1.58, you get this. 1.5 minus 1.58, you get this. So, you repeat the same thing. Then you look for the square. Of this value here, remember once you square a negative value, you must have a positive value. You get all this. Then now look for the f of the square. That means I now use the f to multiply this. I have this. If I use the one to multiply this, I have this. If I use two to multiply this, I will have this. If I use three to multiply the value here, I will have this. So I now look for the f of the value of this. So once you get that, you add the sum. Once you add the sum, as the summation of this whole thing and this is the value now this is the first method you can now apply the formula but we'll go and quickly discuss the second method the second method is simple you just since the values are not much it's just twelve. you can just simply decide to use the straightforward method now put the value of x just line them up 1.3 1.4 1.5 is occurring two times put it the two times 1.6 is occurring two times put it there 1.7 how many times five times you put it there after that, you now sum everything here. I mean, sum of, from this one, summation of x is 19. You now count the number of values. How many number of values do you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Have 12 values. So you now calculate for your mean. The mean is sum of x. Sum of x all over what? n. Uh, please take note of that. So, in this case, if you sum all the value of x here, you have 19. The n, number of values, so you now have 19 all over 12. And if you get it, if you divide, you have your 1.58. Media is still the same thing as you have done before. Just look for the middle number. The middle number in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 and 7 number is actually the middle number. So, you do the same. The mode, number that I'll call most here, the same thing. The range. Subtracting the lowest number from the highest number, that is 17 minus 1.3, that is the range, 0 0.4. Variance in this case. Now, please take note, if you are 
using this table, you have to include like a frequency. You can watch my previous video on how to do it, but it's still the same value. The formula is the same. Variance is actually what? Summation of what? X minus X square all over what? N minus 1. But if I'm to use this table, I can decide to put my frequency here. That means summation of the uh, frequency of some uh, x minus x bar square. So all over n is still the same thing. All right, please take note that n minus 1 is indicating that we are calculating for what? Sample variance. Sample variance. Right? If we are calculating for population variance, we normally use capital letter N here. That means the whole value has to be taken into consideration. You, you will not subtract one from it. The reason I always calculate for sample variance is biostatistics or in life sciences, what we do is usually collect samples. All right, so this value is already present on the table. You can see it here. The sum of this is here, and it's still the same value that is here. All right, so you just put it here all over 12 minus 1, and you have your value for variance. You have your value for variance. Now, the same apply for standard deviation, which is the square root of variance. Look for the square root of variance. We already have the variance here. Look for the square root. So you have your value for the standard deviation. Standard error is standard deviation all over or divided by the square root of n. n is the number of values. You already know that. So standard deviation we already have here. n is 12. You look for it and you have your value. Calculate it. Look for the square root of this and use the value to divide this and you have this. Coefficients of variance. Standard deviation all over mean times what? 100. In this case, standard deviation, you already have the value 0 0.1338. Mean, you already have the value here 1.58 times 100, and you have this. So that is it. In my next video, I'll be producing video on how to calculate correlation and regression by hand, as well as other aspects of biostatistics, such as T square. And pi square and all that. Uh, thank you very much.